restructuring and this agreement not only marks a crucial step toward the nation's recovery but also unlocks the doors to a vital international monetary fund tranche. Now, the agreement covers approximately $5.9 billion of Sri Lanka's outstanding public debt and comprising a strategic mix of long-term maturity extension and reduction in interest rates. This deal is a key milestone in Sri Lanka's pursuit of public debt sustainability and economic recovery. Now, Japan, along with France and India, co-chairs Sri Lanka's official creditor committee and this agreement is seen as a major achievement in dealing with debt problems in middle-income nations. Now, with an external debt of $36.6 billion, as of June this year, Sri Lanka aims to reduce its overall debt by $16.9 billion through this restructuring. And the next steps involve negotiating deals with other bilateral creditors and reaching agreements with bondholders, holding a significant portion of island nation's $12.5 billion international sovereign bonds. Now, market response has been positive with Sri Lanka's overseas bonds experiencing gains after the official co confirmation of the debt agreement, providing a glimmer of hope in the country's challenging financial landscape.